the Eisenwheel S9 Max. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Eisenwheel S9 Max electric scooter. Here's a look at how the scooter arrives. Inside is packaged well with the styrofoam and plastic protecting it. The scooter just requires minimal assembly and basically you just have to attach the handlebars. It comes with a user manual, bolts, allen wrench, scooter bag and charger. And here it is fully assembled. There are two bolts in the front and two bolts in the back in the upper part of the stem that you have to tighten to get the handlebars installed. Just to go over some brief specs, this has a 500 watt motor, 21 mile per hour top speed with a range of 22 miles, 10 inch solid tires, and four to six hours fast charging. Dual front and rear suspensions, it weighs 35 pounds and a max load of 264 pounds. Electronic and rear disc brakes, front and rear lights, and it has app integration. A walk through around the scooter, you will see the front has a folding lock mechanism, the front light, 10 inch solid tires, front motor, and front suspension. The middle section, you will find a charging port, kickstand, rubberized floorboard, and the rear suspension. Towards the back, you have the stem hook, electronic and disc brakes, and rear light. You also have reflectors on both sides that are in the rear and the front. The handlebar section, you have the brakes, bell, electronic brake, power button, LCD display, folding latch lock, and throttle. A closer look at the LCD display, you have one button that will control everything. Once powered on, you can see the battery level, your speedometer, toggle sport and comfort modes, and you can download the app and toggle the settings there as well. A quick press on the power button will also activate the front and rear light. The rear light will also flash when brakes are applied. Now the scooter is light as you can see here and unfolding it is uh, fairly easy. You just press down on this little uh, latch here. It will unhook it from the rear fender, bring up the stem, and then just there lock it into place and unfolding it just do the opposite you want to lift this up just hold on a little bit hard with my gloves on here there you go just lift it up and then here's the uh, locking mechanism on the top and you just want to hook it in the back fender here and there you have it now I'll test out the scooter. I'll test out the acceleration, brakes, and overall ride. Now I'm gonna do an acceleration test. This has two modes, a comfort and sport. Um, comfort will max out at 15 miles per hour and sport will max out at 21 miles per hour. On the display, if it's green, it's on comfort, and then if it's red, it's on sport, and you can also toggle it in the app. All right, we're at um, nine miles an hour, 10, 11, 13, 14, 14 and 15. Now I'm gonna test out the brakes. All right, the brakes do catch on and grip on pretty uh, good. Did a little skid there. Um, this has the e-brake and uh, the regular brake here. All right, now I'm gonna test out the sport mode. Eleven. 14, 16, 
Topping off about 17 here. Um, there is a incline on the road, so it is slowing it down a bit. So it looks like about 17 miles per hour in on this road here. And hitting the brakes. Now the scooter feels uh, stable. Uh, the, the board is pretty long. Uh, the stem, nice, rigid and solid. Not loose at all. And the, uh, the handlebars, it's a good length. Um, what I'm noticing is that, you know, the, it has some decent torque, but not as strong as uh, some previous scooters that I've tested. Um, so I think that's why it had a little bit of uh, difficulty uh, going up going up and down that road and I wasn't able to max out on on the speed so ideally you want to be on a flat surface to probably reach that 21 miles per hour right now I'm averaging about let's see 14 15 on sport mode it's nice uh nice brisk pace here This does have a cruise control feature. Uh, if you hold down a few seconds, you'll hear a beep and that will lock onto your speed. You can also disable that in the app. Here are my thoughts on the scooter. It only requires minimal assembly and you can get up and running in no time. It's light and very portable. The ride was smooth. The stem and handlebars were firm and stable. I found the handlebar length to be suitable along with the height of the stem. It's not adjustable, so keep that in mind. The board had good traction with the rubberized surface. The display is simple and easy to read. One button will control everything. I suggest downloading the app to have more visibility of the features. It was easy to read during sunny days. Having the front and rear lights are a plus for night riding, but the coverage is very minimal, and I would recommend a third-party light to enhance the coverage. When it comes to speed, I topped off at about 17 to 18 miles an hour during my testing. It is advertised at 21 miles per hour, but that can depend on the road conditions. And it also has a range of 22 miles. Front and rear suspensions help for rough surfaces that you encounter as it helps absorb bumps. Overall, I feel this has some good value at its price point. It is a good entry level beginner scooter in my opinion. It's solid and portable and can get you to your destination if you're using it for your short commutes or just pleasure. So that is my review of the Isenwheel S9 Max electric scooter. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unboxed. Take care, everyone.